Welcome back to PewData tutorial and after getting to know the expression object I want to go a bit in depth with the object and show you that it can uh, deal with multiple equations at the same time. You can execute and perform multiple um, calculations in the same object and this is also a very powerful feature. It also introduces to um, the PewData way of dealing with execution of several messages or several functions into one object at the same time. That um, allows you to get rid of a lot of number of objects in the same window, just combine many functions into one and it's way more tidy and clean and you get a better, um, uh, yeah, nicer looking patch and it's way more understandable, for example, for other people looking at your patch. So let's get started with expression again. Um, we want to do a basic expression and I don't know, we have to put out a basic equation, one and three, and get a bang button. If we execute this and put in command three a number box to show the result, of course we get four. Now the semicolon helps separating different functions within the same object. So semicolon, return and then for example two times five results in a second outlet and wrong side and now if I bang the expression object it just performs two equations at the same time and we get the result four and of course two times five and one of the syntax issues you don't have to use the spacing. You can narrow it down like this. Um, it's I just misdial it and perform it again. It's doing exactly the same like with the spacing. I prefer uh, using the spaces just uh, because it's a little bit better uh, to read out if you do larger things, but it's performed the same. So we have two fixed uh, calculations and then we do semicolon hit return and then we do $f1 uh, times $f2 add together with 100. So in this case we get of course three results because we have three equations at the same time and now um, performing the calculation results into the first two results we already know and then we just get in 100 because $f1 there is nothing coming in the first inlet no number no value to feed in the variable and there's nothing coming into the second inlet so what we can do now is introducing for example a value coming into the first inlet and then we see that I just misdial them again if we feed in one this will execute the first two fixed equations and feed this variable. This one is still zero, so we can get the result all the time. And then remember, I just do print those. Uh, even if you don't see the change in the number box here, they always get an output here. They always are executed. So it's always executing all the three um, equations. And of course now we can use um, another number box to first set the variable 2. You know variable 2 corresponds to the second inlet but it doesn't execute so we go maybe to minus 50 and then here we go and we see if we fit it with 0 it's adding and adding 100 again and we can go to the negative range whatsoever and this is it and we easily can exchange something for example here we want to use the variable coming into the second inlet 2 and now it's changing of course and it's adding this to the second inlet and we have to change it again because the object changed and now it's working fine. So with this method you can stack multiple equations at the same time and it's actually quite convenient to do this because um, otherwise you would need one, no sorry, <laughs> an addition object then 
you say you have to add one like this to a variable and then you need a second object it's multiplying it's multiplying times two uh, like this times five with a two so this would be the equivalent to the second row then this one for example would be an object with two variables if i put them uh, on top we don't know yet and we need to trigger bang float routine for feeding the right inlet with the second value so this um two object boxes sorry those two number boxes will represent um our two variables like floating point variable one floating point variable two and then this result wrong again sorry for the mess and here if we result get the first result we have to add 100 so you see the mess all of these structures you can just get rid of and avoid and just type in your basic math equation into the expression object